Welcome to Michael and Games, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 4. This episode, we're going to be taking this stock CJ5 Renegade and doing some off-road snow races. And uh, as you guys know, uh, last Sunday, I uh, sunk my Jeep in about four feet of water. So uh, that's why I haven't really had too many videos go up. I mean, I've been doing a single video a day, but uh, I, I don't have anything backlogged. Usually, I try to get, you know, basically a video for each day of the week done on the weekend but as you know i've been uh you know, been trying to fix my jeep up so let's take this thing off here oh that sounds good oh man this is a freaking awesome jeep let's go in third person and check it out i just love how the suspension handles you can see everything move it just looks freaking awesome i love how it's got the four lights on the top there all right like i said we're gonna be doing some snow races in this stock cj5 so let's go find an off-road race and, you know, see what happens. So the game is on a current update. It just got updated today, uh, 10, 12, 2018. So let's go find this race now and see what we can do. So basically the only thing I did to this Jeep that makes it not stock is the tires. I added snow tires to it just because it is snowing out and it's winter. So we definitely do want snow tires, but that's the only modification I've done to the Jeep. Other than appearance mods, you know, like the light bar on top and all that good stuff. Okay, it is really starting to pick up snow now. I think we're going into a blizzard. This thing handles freaking great. For being a stock Jeep as well, this thing handles amazingly. Just drifted around that corner there. Look at that. Beautiful. We got a jump coming up here. In 400 yards. And oh yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Uh, so let me give you guys an update on my Jeep. So like I said, uh, last Sunday I kind of sunk it in about four feet of water. So if you guys didn't see that video, it's from like two days ago. It went up. It's about 27 minutes long, I think. And anyways, it's the whole trip. And it, yeah, basically you can see what happened. But so the engine cut off as soon as I hit the water. So that saved it from sucking water into the engine. So it didn't seem like there was any water in the oil, but the transmission, that sucked up some water. So that's what really uh, ended the trip, was water in the transmission. So it started slipping and it would not move. So yesterday or two days ago, I was flushing the transmission and I was able to at least get it to move around my front yard. I ripped the seats out. There was about an inch of mud on the floor pans of the Jeep. So I've been washing it out, and it's a huge process. I'm going to have a separate video go up for that, basically trying to restore the Jeep. Uh, anyways, let's get inside this event. Ooh, look at that Willy's Jeep over there. That's the... Oh, they got the MRAP thing? I forget what that's called. But that vehicle's in Grand Theft Auto. I don't know the actual name of it. It's like a Nighthawk or something. Maybe that was the name of Grand Theft Auto. Okay, baby. Okay, okay, okay. Got a nice Land Rover in front of us as well. Okay, somebody just hit me. Got two Ford Broncos up in the front. Let's try to pass these guys up. I should probably get that Willys Jeep as well. Let me know if, in the comments if you guys want me to buy the Jeep Willys as well. That Jeep is freaking awesome. Uh, is this only a three-speed? I should probably upgrade the transmission. Oh, thank you for uh, giving me some... Uh, buffer there let's try to get around these guys so like i said this is a stock cj other than just having snow tires so let's drift it yeah there we go that was decent it slowed us down a little bit but we got to get around these guys i think we're at like uh the c class it's like 515 or something so like i said this is very basically stock let's get around this way here Oh, drifted, yeah. Okay, Bronco. Trying to push me into the wall? I don't think so, buddy. Man, that is a beautiful looking Bronco, though. Let's try to get around this guy. Come on, baby, come on. Let's go. Just send it. That's what I did last Sunday. Didn't work out too well. Come on, baby. Get, in, get around this guy. Get around this guy. I hope I didn't miss that checkpoint. We are in front of that Bronco now. Nice. Uh, 
flip it around this way. There we go. Beautiful. Let's go in third person just to see how this Jeep looks. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, so like I said, I currently have no seats in my Jeep right now. Took them all out. I mean, I guess I have the back seat in there, but I'm not counting that one because it doesn't really touch the ground that much. Basically, I had to take the front seats out so I could rip all the carpeting out that I hadn't taken out already. Because you just leave that carpeting in there, it's just going to rust everything out, which it's probably going to rust out anyways because it's a Jeep. But anyways, I'm going to try to, you know, get that interior all cleaned up, get some more Pour 15 on the inside as well. And uh, basically, if you don't know what Pour 15 is, it's a rust protectant, basically. It uh, goes on like paint. You can use it in a spray can or you can paint it on with a brush. Basically, when it dries, it turns rock hard and it just protects your paint and it basically encapsulates the rust, preventing it from spreading. So. We'll see if that's going to help or not. It is a Jeep, so... Uh, drifted! Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we got a moving water here. Get a river crossing. Oh, beautiful. Oh, slow down, slow down, slow down. These snow tires help out so much. All right, let's take a right down this way here. Hopefully you guys are enjoying the episode so far. If you do enjoy it, hit that like button, because that really does help me out when you do that. And also, if you haven't checked out that video about my Jeep getting sunk in four feet of water maybe check out that video as well you know leave a comment or hit that like button as well that really does help me out and it lets me know what you guys you know think of the video as well there we go oh beautiful and this cheap cj is freaking awesome all right there's the finish line come on baby oh look at the light bar on top that is beautiful and first place Woo! Nice. Man, look how high up that front rear end is. Four minutes and two seconds. Not bad, not bad. Oh, yeah. So we got two Broncos in second and third. And then me and the CJ5. 15,649, not bad. But so it is winter in the game right now. I don't know if I mentioned that. I mean, you can clearly tell. But basically, each week or so... It changes the season, which is really cool because it's all multiplayer. So it basically everybody is on the same season. And it's I just think that's really awesome how it does that. All right, let's uh, take a right here, go in this field. See how this Jeep CJ handles. Oh, look at that snow. Damn, that is some pretty deep snow. It's up to the middle of our tires. Let's get up this way and do a jump. Oh, beautiful. I love the suspension handling in this game. One thing is, it doesn't really give you flex, which kind of sucks. So you can't really make a real off-road vehicle if you want to do rock crawling and whatnot. But overall, the game is freaking awesome. Just look at that snow. Oh, man, these open fields just driving through the snow. Let's hit these jeeps. I mean, jeeps. Whoops. <laughs> okay, there we go. And, uh... Just trying to see how the suspension is in first person. You know, a little bumpy here and there. That's what I love about Jeeps. Just the off-road, you know, just going over in bumps and you just moving up and down. It feels so good. If you've never gone off-roading, you should try it. Maybe get a friend that has a 4x4 and just go off-roading. Just the feeling of it is so good. And I guess it could bring you back to World War II and the Jeep uh, willies. But they're, you know, going through Germany and smashing through all the mud and Nazis. It's a great time. It's a great time. Oh, yeah. Look at that suspension. Oh, that is freaking beautiful. Look at that. All right, guys. I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm not going to make this episode too long. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what I thought in the comments below. If you guys did enjoy it, hit that like button. That helps me out immensely. And you'll be sure to leave a comment as well. Have a great day, guys, and see you next time.